What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone's having a good day today. So today we we're looking at the brand new Bronco. It's on console. So these are some of the upgrades. You can only do the stock motor suspension. We're going to, there's three different options. Squatch suspension, just so a little bit lifted. Then you got Squatch active. So I just went with the regular Squatch. Not a huge fan of the active suspensions on most applications. Quite a bit of tire options though on this thing, which is pretty cool. And I believe it goes up to a 39 when I was uh, looking through these. Yeah, this truck's pretty cool though, so uh, since it's on console now, I'll definitely check it out. And the transmission that I put on this is uh, like a mudding transmission, so you have higher power. And then the winch is just one winch option. You can add front lockers to this thing, or front locker, I should say. Drop hitch. There's quite a bit of uh, customizations for this thing too, which is cool. Looks pretty cool without the top on it too. Just trying to decide which uh, bumper to put on this thing. There's a couple different options. And it was pretty interesting, you could do the tops individually. That's probably how it is in uh, real life. Just to make it easier to remove the top or something, but it's pretty cool to add that into the game. Put some rock sliders on there, of course. Off-road bumper. So I ended up just putting uh, the top on. Leaving the doors off. Then you have, you can add a roof rack and add all these uh, add-ons to the roof, which is pretty cool. So you could do like a scouting vehicle, have lots of supplies, repair points and fuel. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. It looked like 90% uh, of my viewers were not subscribed. And then you can add a, a GoPro phone to the dash, which, which is pretty cool. And the snorkel. To me, the snorkel looked kind of funky. I don't know if the mod creator was trying to go with the body lines for the snorkel, but I don't know, it looks kind of funky. And then all the colors look pretty good for this thing, actually. Ended up going with this grayish blue color. And obviously you can add some bobbleheads and stuff. So let's get this thing out of the garage. And of course you already know we are uh, on TNB trails and we gotta flex this thing out just to see what it's like. And then we're gonna go drive it up the trail a little ways just to see how it operates and what it feels like. So make sure to stay tuned. I was actually pretty impressed with this thing, the flex wise. That's quite a bit of flex for what it is. Pretty impressive. Then I almost flipped it. <laughs> then we gotta do it backwards too, as usual. Can't forget to do it front to back. That way you can see it from both angles. Oh, right here's when I almost flipped it. Because the reverse is really high geared in this. Pretty 
pretty nice interior. I like the interior look in uh, first person when you have the doors off, it looks pretty cool to me. Then we'll take it over to the trailer store right here just to see what trailers we can tow real quick. Pretty typical Scout trailers. So this would be a cool vehicle to use in the base gameplay as like a Scout uh, recovery vehicle. Just to explore with. You'll have a massive amounts of fuel, especially if you tow the fuel trailer. So I'm just gonna go up this trail straight ahead so we can just uh, see more of the trail and see more of the way this thing operates. It's pretty grippy though. It's got quite about a uh, quite a bit of power. And the suspension works really good, as you can see right here. And then right here I was uh, coming up this rock and I always forget it's like a ramp. So I was like, I'm going to back up and jump this thing. So we threw it in auto, and then stripped it up into high, and then sent it. Whew. Got some massive air on it. So, I do gotta say one thing with this truck, or this Bronco, it's uh, the wheelbase. It's pretty interesting, coming up these uh, steep parts, and then the steering is a little weird. Like, it almost feels like you're driving one of the like really big trucks on the game. If you played Stoner before, you know what I'm talking about, where you have to like steer before you want to steer kind of thing. And then that was an oops, I did not mean to do that. It's fine though, don't, don't worry about it. And uh, stop any days. There we go. <laughs> Let's just get this brand new Bronco and roll it on the first trail, on the first day. See the steering like that. I was trying to steer to the left, but it kept going to the right. You have to like steer it sooner than what you want. Especially up these hills, it's weird. This is a sick view always right here though. Take a look at this thing. Look better if we didn't have body damage, but it is what it is. Going high through here. So it does pretty good in the mud from what I've seen. This is the first time using this truck, so I was kind of just testing it out. And then we're just going up these rocks, which is actually pretty surprising because I did not think it was going to have a grip for it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to check this thing out. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.